Hi, good morning. Uh, in this particular video, we'll just uh, see how to open the trading tree charts before the market opens. Earlier, we didn't have this facility, but uh, right now uh, we have this facility to open the charts before the market opens. So what we are going to do here is we just double click on the Ninja Trader uh, shortcut and that will do a shortcut also. <coughs> So now I have the share guru uh, open. So we have this uh, <coughs> share guru and uh, the ninja trader running right now. So what uh, initially what we'll be doing is let's check uh, whether this ninja trader is running or not. So here in Shareguru server, we'll just click on this ninja trader button, and you can see that uh, it is stopped. So what we are going to do is start the Shareguru server. So I click on the start button, and you can see that now it's running. I'll just say okay. I'll just come back to the ninja trader uh, application. Click on the file and go to the connect button and connect it to the external data field. So now you can see that uh, both Ninja Trader and Shareguru are connected. Now let's open the charts. Now it's 715, 716. So I will uh, just open few charts and keep it ready before the market opens. And as soon as the market opens, since you know that uh, the Ninja Trader and the Share Guru are uh, connected now, the data will directly come into your trading tree charts. Now how we do, how uh, we can do that is, we will click on this backfill button here on the Share Guru uh, server. So now I want this exchange. So the backfill watch list, I have all my uh, commodity watch list, FNO watch list and the currency watch list. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll open few charts of uh, currency, uh, sorry, uh, commodity. Now uh, we, we have this uh, small problem here. Problem in the sense uh, we'll have to do the symbol mapping here also. Symbol mapping in the sense uh, we know aluminium without hyphen is the symbol for ninja trader. So what we are going to do is we are just going to delete that hyphen symbol. Just click on that and then delete the hyphen symbol. So this becomes uh, a bit simpler now uh, because uh, earlier what we used to do is uh, we had to wait for the data after 9, uh, 9.15 or 9.30 then only, I'm sorry, 10 o'clock for commodities then only we could uh, actually open the charts. Now it is much more simpler because we can always open the charts much before the market opens and then get the data feed directly and right from 9.15 we can start trading. So now I have just uh, removed this hyphen symbols. Now what I'll do is in the place of backfill days, I'll just type as 30 and then I'll click on the backfill button. So you can just see uh, here when there is an indication that the backfill is happening and uh, aluminium is done. So once all this uh, but the gold has failed because I have not added it. I have uh, actually gold 2. Gold 2 is nothing but the next month contract. Gold 1 is the current month contract. So that's happening. Now I'll just come back to the tools in Ninja Trader and click on the historical data manager. I'll have to take the historical data. Now uh, in the UTC, the time zone, we'll have to choose our times. That is uh, Chennai, Kolkata. And then we'll check these two boxes and click on the start import button. And all our files, you know that uh, it will be stored in the NT uh, import directory that is in Share Guru. So let's go to that particular directory. So let's click on C, Program Files, Share Guru Server, and NT import directory. Now I will just choose 
the scratch that is a commodity scratch I will just hold the control button and then click on that particular scratch now aluminium copper crude oil gold lead natural gas nickel silver and zinc so I'll just open those So I have uh, historical data is imported successfully now. I just say okay. Now I'll come back to the Ninja Trader file, view, chart, and double click on the script and just say okay. The chart will open. So you can just see that our charts are ready to. I mean now once we get the data at 10 o'clock for commodities we are ready for trading so similarly I'll just open the charts for other scripts also and uh, then I will get into uh, FNO uh, scripts I'll open few charts again there so that will give you a uh, slight edge during the morning hours that is you don't have to uh, actually open the charts after the, the market opens you can do it much before the market opens so that is crude oil gold lead natural gas that is nickel So that uh, and see commodity part. <coughs> so now you can see that uh, we had this trade yesterday. So this particular uh, buy call was generated at around 7:30 uh, yesterday, that is 17th of March, and uh, it closed somewhere here. Let's just check what what's the profit in this. So you have placed your order right here, and at the close, that is at. Uh, 11.30 so that's around 6.6 uh, in, uh, in the sense 0.6 into 5000 the lot for zinc so that's around 3000 rupees profit on zinc so silver we had this uh, buy call here and it gave a buy and then it made its high here and then uh, it started coming down so we'll just wait at uh, 10 o'clock and see how this silver opens Otherwise, in case if you want to uh, just check uh, where silver will open, you can just go to Bloomberg and check how uh, the commodities are performing. So you will be able to know whether it will be a gap up or a gap down uh, open. So you will get this uh, prices here, uh, I mean uh, the crude, gold, and silver and copper prices also. So you'll, you can be a bit uh, careful during the market open. So that is silver and uh, we had this nickel buy call. So that's five five points into 250, 250 is a lot size. That's 1250. So natural gas we have a buy call here. It has already made its R3. So let's see how this opens at 10 o'clock in the morning. So at 10 o'clock, once you open the charts and leave it, at 10 o'clock once you get the data fed here, share guru, 
it will automatically connect to your uh, chat and then you will uh, you can start actually trading at right from 10 o'clock itself. So that is the idea, it has become much more simpler now. So earlier it was uh, like uh, we used to uh, open the charts at, uh, after the market opens. Now we don't need to do that, we can do it much before the market opens. So that is crude oil. We had this buy call and it's close somewhere at uh, 2 double seven two. So this is copper and aluminium. So this is how we uh, open the charts uh, before the market opens. I think uh, now we will be better prepared to take good trades and uh, much before and uh, it actually simplifies all your trades. And so that is the idea behind having this. I think you will be able to understand this and in case if you have any queries you can just pick it.